We installed the MCS2 system on the Windows to have access to the compilers and build utilities like Make. As an alternative, we can install the Windows subsystem for Linux. Go to Control Panel, Programs, turn Windows features on or off. Search for the Windows subsystem for Linux and check the box. Also check the box for Hyper-V. After that, you probably need to reboot. After rebooting, open the PowerShell as administrator and run the command over here. That will set WSL2 as the default. We then set to go to the Microsoft Store, search for Ubuntu 20 and download and install it. After that, the instructions are identical to the Linux video, so you need to install the package build-essential, gvartran and all the other required ones. That included the CHH shell and the configuration. After that, install the Windows Terminal app over here. Once you install it and start it, you get a terminal, but you can specify which shell you want to run inside the terminal. So that now includes the Ubuntu system. I fixed the font issue and I set the Ubuntu as the default. Go to settings, search for source Windows terminal WSL and set this font face line. In addition, I took the ID over here, copied it and set that as the default profile. It now opens by default with the Ubuntu. By default, it starts in your Windows home folder, which from the WSL site is specified as forward slashes mount C users and your username. Inside WSL, you have your own home folder as home username. So you can copy files from the Windows site to your WSL site and back via the terminal. Next, let's set up Visual Studio Code. Go to Extensions and install the remote WSL extension. Once you do that, you get the button at the lower left and you get options in the command palette. By the command palette, we can go to Open Folder and WSL, Project, OK, and it opens. I already did that, so we are at the same state. Explorer, and we see the files over here. I have now the main.cpp file selected. I can click on the Play button. It will open a terminal and run the commands like the compilation and the running of the executable inside the terminal. The settings that are needed for that are mostly the settings that we needed for the code runner, namely to specify what happens when you right click on the file and do the run code or what happens when you click on the play button over there. The only other option that is needed is to set the font family of the terminal. You don't need to set anything else because all the utilities like the compilers, the debuggers and the terminal are in the path of the WSL system. There's one thing that does not work. One of the extensions, the C, C++ Makefile project, only works on the local side and not on the WSL side. As you can see now, all extensions are not only locally installed, but also remotely inside WSL, except for the makefile. An easy solution is to generate first the project on the Windows site, and after you've done that, go to the terminal and copy the project over to the WSL site. Once you've done that, Go to the command palette, open the folder, select it, OK. And now we've opened it, including the make file which we used from the Windows site. So it's good to make one starting project directory, which you just configure once, and then use that as a start for any other project. So this concludes the setup of the WSL.